<laughs> now, I found the film really creeping and terrifying. I just wondered what your experience of reading the script for the first time was and if you did maybe left the bathroom light on that night. <laughs> um, not as much with the script, you know? Um, to be honest, I'm reading a script with an actor's eye, so I'm not just reading the story, I'm reading what's the part, how does it fit in, what would I do with it. I'm never, it, it's very different to experiencing the movie for me. Well, I mean, you know, especially in light of seeing the movie now and um, how you don't imagine kind of the lushness of the film. Cinematically, it's very, I think it's not like a lot of horror movies. It has a lot of depth and it has the, that 1950s feel to it. And that's sometimes hard to imagine off the page. You know, what you read on the script is, you know, he, uh, you know, crumbles to his knees in front of the satanic force. I mean, that, that's just the slug line. But you know, when you're actually faced with having to do that, that's very different. And they've really achieved a lot, even just with the, the set. Those sort of little details, like the inverted crosses that I noticed, like on the front door. The um, set's like one of the The set the was movie. amazing. It's amazing. I mean, I loved in the room that I was in, they did, instead of putting crosses on the wall, they actually cut crosses into the wood. So the, the cross was like a, a, a light shaft that, that came across the room. I thought, oh, that's so clever. The attention to detail in there yeah. was amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, Anthony, what was your daughter's reaction to you getting the role in this film? I hear that she's a bit of she a fan. She was like part of the reason that I, you know, I didn't know anything about, honestly, I'd seen The Conjuring ages ago. I didn't know about Annabelle, the first movie. I mean, not where it was not my genre, but my daughter's into that stuff. And like, she's never cared about anything I've ever done. And she heard me on the phone, and I was maybe, I was talking to my agent maybe, and I was talking about Annabelle, and she went, is that Annabelle, like, is that the movie? Is that like a sequel? I said, was there a first one? She goes, yeah. And I said, I think it must be. And she was like- It's called Annabelle too. it must be. You it's have to, it yeah, been. it must be. You have to, uh, she was like, you have to do this movie, it would be so cool. And, I, and just for that reaction, I was like, okay, I think I'll do this. <laughs> I wanted to do it anyway, but um, her reaction to it was like, it was a bit of a wake up call to like generations that I yeah. wasn't aware were so into horror movies. Yeah. So you got some brownie points at home for, for doing well, this, that's like, good. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like cool dad now, just for a month or two. Your character um, wears a, a mask and she's behind all these layers actually, which is, which is kind of interesting, but um, just tell us about the, the makeup process for that or if it was CGI, did you ever frighten yourself looking in the mirror? <laughs> no, I didn't so much frighten myself looking in the mirror. I mean, you sit there and they, they do it to you, you know, piece by piece, so it kind of, it grows on you in some way, and then you're just totally used to it. And then my thing was I, I didn't really think about how frightening I looked to other people. So, you know, I had it all done, and then I went over to the breakfast room, and I asked the woman who had her head in the fridge, you know, can, is there any orange juice in there? And then she turned around and got the fright of her life when she saw me, and I just totally forget what, it, what I look like. <laughs> And I believe that you're kind of a non-believer when it comes to the supernatural, um, Anthony. Yeah. But um, have you had any experiences that you'd like to share um, with World Storm Miranda? I, you know, I stayed in a hotel in Las Vegas, New Mexico once, and every you know, I was shooting a film there, and every morning I would get waking up at the same time that my bed would shake and I could hear these footsteps, but I couldn't find that anyone else who, in the rooms around me was up at that same time, like they were all asleep, and I could never work it out. And then they, there was something about the hotel that it was haunted in some way, that someone had died there. And... George Washington. <laughs> We bring you breakfast every morning, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> I mean, listen, I've, I've been influenced. I remember once years ago, like I was early 30s, I was doing research on a satanic cult leader. And so I actually met this priest named Malachi Martin, who wrote something with the disciple book, something with the devil. And he, you know, his claim to fame is he's done more exorcisms than anybody else. And I'm a lapsed Catholic. And so I met this guy, he was a, um, I forget which order of priests he was, the Jesuit I think maybe, and, and I spent like an entire afternoon talking to this guy and he was very, very convinced, like he was very convincing. And as I left the room, I, you know, I don't know whether to this day whether it was a bit of a head 
But as I was leaving his apartment, he put these rosaries in my hands, and he said, just, you know, just in case, you know, you never, you know, I was, I was. so that night, I, I did go home, and like, I remember waking up in like sweat, because I'd been having dreams about cloven hooves and the devil, and, and I grabbed that rosary for that evening, I have to say, <laughs> and went back to sleep. But that, I, you know, but you know, I put that down to, I spent an afternoon exposing myself to that guy's world, and it got into my head. But Anthony Miranda, thanks very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Yeah. Nice. Hey!